hate summer dude I have to keep the fan off and I'm roasting in here okay cool so the first stuff lemon oil which because of the bridge and the wood of my guitar this is gonna come in very handy what else do I get microfiber cloth thread polisher I bought the music nomad one can you focus on it there you go it has to be at the same distance that I am I just clipped my microphone doing that <laughs> and the most important part <sighs> finally yeah, there you go. I just bought 10 to 46. For those of you that don't know, I regularly play in either E standard or in E flat. I do not mind using 10 to 52s though, even though I don't usually drop my guitar. It's something I can recommend trying. It can be harder to bend the sixth string, so if you do that a lot, maybe you will not like 10 to 52s that much, but it's also not that bad. You get used to it. The more you know for those of you that didn't. Also, I bought a four pack because it's just to have the strings lying around whenever I need them. So, string winder and also cutter and the last extra thing i bought was a string wrapper i don't particularly like that rose design that much but then again it was the cheapest my guitar does have the thing a lot of the times where you like just play a note and like immediately mute it and then it proceeds to have that like high-pitched clank sound so this should help with that by the way before i forget that now that i'll be able to set up my guitar after so long the things i want to do are Three. The first two is that I'm finally making Archetype Rebia and Archetype Petrucci videos. My strings are pretty goddamn all at this point and I feel like it wouldn't be fair to the plugins if I used a not very well set up guitar. And the other one because a lot of people usually ask me, you know, throughout the entire channel what guitar I am using. But for those of you that don't know, it's a Diamond Guitars Bolero STE Elite Black. Elite Black is just the name for the color. Bolero, I think, is their way of calling it a Les Paul. And yeah, I have no idea what STE stands for by the way <laughs> and before i actually do the setup what i want to tell you is that i'm gonna be reviewing my own guitar that i bought with my own money i've been playing this guitar for about six years it should be now maybe even more than that i don't quite remember so long time player of this guitar and this guitar only by the way i don't have any other guitars that i play not because i don't want to but because i can't afford it <laughs> so yeah if you've been interested in this guitar and have also thought about buying it then do consider waiting a little bit because i do want to do a review for my own guitar hopefully before christmas <laughs> So I'm also gonna take the chance to ask you what are the things that you always want to see in a guitar review? What are the things you want to know about this guitar? You know, you already know how it sounds. Not sure if I'm gonna do the plugin videos or the review first, but in either case, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below. I also do have no idea if this guitar is out of stock a lot. But yeah, at the very least, you're gonna be informed about this guitar and if you want to consider it and also pursue it, or you might wanna look elsewhere. But enough of this, let's get into setting up my guitar. Fucking hate summer, dude. You just gotta start off with some summer hating. One thing I do have to show you before we actually start setting the guitar up. Another thing I'm gonna do is do a comparison between how the pickups came set from the factory and how I want to set them up after we do the whole setup. I have never changed the pickup height before, by the way. Not sure how tough to see this is going to be, but the pickups are not perfectly aligned on height i think you can tell that the end of the pickup that's closer to the thicker e string is a little bit higher compared to the one that's nearer to the thin e string so that's one thing i'm gonna try to fix with the setup and same for the neck pickup really i hate that it doesn't focus at this level so i feel like the height between the two different sides on this pickup is like fine these two are aligned for the most part i would say but i'm gonna need you to use your eagle eye again if we look very close closely you can tell that it has this side a little bit higher compared to this side like the pickup instead of being like you know on a straight line is kind of like this on this angle you know i'm exaggerating with my finger here but it's so that you can get the point because i'm not sure you're gonna be able to see that correctly uh, it's revealed but that's definitely one thing we are going to compare also sorry if you hear my doggo barking in the background i don't think there's much i can do about that all right and with that i'm gonna start setting up cleaning and fixing my goddamn guitar mm -hmm. Sigo.
Okay, so we're back in actual playing position and I'm tuned to... Very low. Okay, I just realized my goddamn microphone level was way too fucking low, so sorry for that. First things first, after we've done all of that, is to actually tune ourselves to the tuning you want your guitar in. As for me, that's gonna be E flat. This is the part I hate because this is when you start fearing that you're gonna break a guitar string. Also, this is the part where your guitar is gonna start getting out of tune so fucking much so make sure you go back and you know retune your guitar because th this is the annoying part of setting up the guitar yourself unless you're a chad and use a never tune bridge no matter how fucking ugly it looks then when you get all the strings to the tuning tune them again because they're gonna be out of tune Kick ass tone I made. We need to set up the bridge, but before that, what we actually need to do is cut these ugly fucking strings. There you go. Much prettier. So the first thing is I know I immediately need to raise this bridge because the bends are going nowhere. Not sure how I'm doing on the lower notes there. Seems to be fine. Seems to be higher still. So by the way, you know that you need to raise your bridge. When you do the highest bends, you know you're gonna do and that happens. The note either like dies or goes to a different pitch that it shouldn't be going to. Okay, so I'm actually gonna raise the bridge on the lower string as well because I kind of like the feeling of it ringing out instead of actually, you know, feeling so goddamn close to the string. I don't like that. Oh shit, I'm bleeding. <laughs> That's why it hurts so much to play. You can kind of see it, not very much, but yeah. So that's like my test for the bridge. If it can do the fucking bend on battery, you know, that fucking bend that Kirk does, then you're good to go and you don't need to keep putting the bridge higher. I do believe that we can tighten this neck. I wanna see if I can show you guys how much I do it at the very least. So. We'll just try like that, like very little. You don't really need to do like big adjustments, like definitely don't overdo it. Now this is an adjustment that is gonna take some time for your guitar to like settle into. So do the adjustment, play a little bit. If you still feel like it's horrifyingly not enough still to put it in a more exaggerated way, then you can definitely tighten it or loosen it a bit more. But you usually don't need to do that unless your guitar is horrifyingly badly set up. <laughs> Also, by the way, because I think I didn't show that, the way I adjust the bridge height, at least on this 
type of like Les Paul guitar. You have to turn these two knobs that are under this plaque. I'm not sure if you can see like the little disc thing like that. If I turn it like this, then what I'm doing is lowering the bridge. If I turn it the other way around, I'm bringing it up higher. As for the locker of the string, the only thing I would say is that you have to make sure. Look at the strings like this, like uh, for the camera, it would be like on this angle. And I'm speaking on this section, by the way, like on this part. Make sure that none of your strings are actually touching the little plaque. I think there's a great Toman video that explains it a bit better than I do, but basically you just don't want to have them touching because that can bring you tuning instabilities. Again, this is not a tutorial. This is like, you know, a video of me doing it. Take care of your guitar people this is so much more comfortable to play than it was before okay the last thing i have to check before we adjust the pickup height is intonation and basically this is one of the easiest ones you can check but it's also one that you should do last to see that we are intonated but what we're basically gonna do is first tune your guitar perfectly just play it open and after that we're gonna play on the 12th fret of the same string and as you can see there, I'm actually going a little sharp on the string, which means I have to pull this little guy a little bit back. But sadly, I'm not going to do that in that video. And again, this is not really a tutorial on how to set up your guitar. So you might want to go and look for a more specific tutorial tailored to, you know, intonation, if that's what you want to do. The reason why I'm not going to do it now is because, as I told you about the truss route, you need to let your guitar adjust. So I'm actually going to check that tomorrow and see how my adjustments that I've made today adjust throughout an entire day. And and then after I get the truss rod, the bridge height and all that stuff right, only then I'm actually gonna adjust the intonation. And that's what you should do too. You don't need to wait a full day, by the way, the only reason I'm doing that is because it's 2.30 a.m. and I, you know, I kinda wanna go to bed. But yeah, you honestly really only need to wait like a few hours. But yeah, that'd be the last part. What we're gonna get into now is finally the pickup height comparison. What I'm gonna do is record both a rhythm riff on the bridge pickup, and then I'm also gonna do a clean riff only on the neck pickup. Now this is not gonna be a, like a very ridiculously in-depth comparison, but I just wanna compare how this guitar got to me. Like again, this is the first time I'm gonna adjust pickup height on my guitar like ever, but as you saw in the clips that I showed you earlier, it's not perfect here. So I wanna see how it compares, you know, using the default, you know, out of factory pickup height that I got, which I don't think it's that great, or it doesn't look like it. It could end up being that it sounds better the way that it is right now, but we'll see. So here's the comparison for you. Well, there you go, that's been it. Oh yeah, actually I forgot one thing, which was this dude, the string wrapper. I think it's gonna make that much of a difference if you've seen people on the internet using these. Basically, we put them on this part, like literally wrapped around the strings. Have you ever played your guitar and you get like a clangy sound when you like, like you know, you just pick it on, you get like a mm -hmm. This is what we use these things for when we do that. Like so, and we just keep it there. Yeah, no annoying noises. 
I like it. If I could ever get like a custom model and put like a Pokemon in here, like I don't know, like an Eevee dude or like a Gengar. If you've ever seen that smug Gengar face, bro, I would so fucking much love to have one here, like just displaying it on full there. Also, this somewhat hides the fact that I like to keep my access to the truss rod open because whenever temperatures change too much, you might need to adjust your truss rod again. Although it's not ideal, but if you have to do it, you know, you have to. So with this, you know. I kind of hide the ugly part of this part excepting that one hole you can see that it's for one of the uh, screws I don't like having that tape there because the one for this guitar is very annoying it has three screws two of them are like literally in the way of the strings so like you, you like have to push the strings to the side and I really fucking dislike that <sighs> but yeah my guitar is playing like new and I love it even though I broke that one E string because I'm a fucking idiot I'm still very proud of doing this for the first time myself <laughs> So yeah, see you on the review video, see you on the archetype, the goddamn archetype plugins. I'm finally gonna do those videos, archetype Rabia and archetype Petrucci. And then we will see after that, really, I think. But with that, this has been Furnace. This has been my setup video of my very own guitar. And I hope I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day and see ya.